Welcome Guardian, my name is Abby. I'll be covering all aspects of game modding to ensure you're up to date with the latest modding technology and news on the latest enhancements to both classic and new games releases. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to implement RTX Remix components with the classic game Max Payne 1 on a Windows OS. If you're not familiar with NVIDIA's RTX Remix, it is a free modding platform built on NVIDIA Omniverse that allows modders to quickly create and share RTX ON mods for classic games. These mods include enhanced materials, full ray tracing, NVIDIA DLSS 3, and NVIDIA Reflex. Although RTX Remix isn't available as of now, NVIDIA recently showcased the tool's capabilities with a release of Portal 1, impressively utilizing RTX Remix. This in turn has lead to keen modders like yourself, grabbing those RTX Remix files shipped with Portal Remix, and attempting to get them working with other classic games. Regarding Max Payne 1, despite various examples from the community of it working without a hitch, most of us using a Windows OS have had mixed results, from the game not loading at all, to instant crashes and mouse functionality becoming obsolete. So let's break down what you need, and how to configure Max Payne 1 to get it up and running. First, we'll need the RTX-specific files used for Portal Remix, a widescreen fix, and if you're using a Zen 2 Plus Risen computer processor, you will need this additional DLL file to avoid crashes and JPEG conflicts. All of these files can be found in my description below. Once you launch the Max Payne X file, you will have the option to configure the game settings. Here you'll want to ensure Max Payne is running in software mode. Additionally, for troubleshooting purposes, I'd suggest changing all your graphical settings to low by default to avoid performance issues and also eliminate Ingham effects which will conflict with RTX Remix's dynamic light casting. Lastly, you'll want to ensure your Windows OS is set to a resolution of 1920 by 1080, since I experience mouse cursor issues playing in 4K. And for those who simply want to examine how it performs, let me offer you this demonstration of level two and three. As you can see, Max Payne looks like he's been covered in goo. Keep in mind, this is a demonstration of the possibilities, not a final iteration. Currently, what you're seeing are the configurations applied to Portal RTX, applied to Max Payne 1. For example, with RTX Remix software, we will be able to select specific materials within a scene and define how they cast light. The biggest concern from critiques is that classic games will lose the stylization which made them unique in the first place. However, this all depends on the modder, since in the right hands, RTX Remix will allow modders who have a good eye for design, the ability to manipulate lighting scene by scene. Anyway Guardians, keep an eye out for glitches in this playthrough, and let me know if you think RTX Remix is a good or bad thing in the comment sections below. Home free, this way. Yo! I saw! the pain. So much for being subtle. One way or the other, I was going to find out.
need a detonator. What are you talking about? The detonator. I thought you'd bring it. You were supposed to bring it. Yeah, right. Oh. Hey, yeah. You almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, we're glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery, a tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Dude, he was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. For sure. Nah, the pain. 